Hey everybody, uh, thanks for tuning into my video. I'm going to do a quick, uh, a quick video on a smoothie that I, that I like to have every day for lunch before I do my walk. Um, and so I'm just going to go over that right now, pretty simple. Um, this is uh, all vegetables and then um, I just, uh, just have this for dinner. So uh, I have, uh, the first part of my smoothie is three uh, medium carrots. Uh, or uh, two large carrots, uh, so that's uh, you know what I what I usually do is um, I'll I'll clip the tips off of the carrots, you know just kind of something I do to keep things consistent. So then I'll wash the carrots here in a second. Uh, then I'll do three or four uh, celery, I guess they're sticks. And uh, I just like to clip the tips off, so some people don't even do that, but I just I just like doing it. Um, clip the ends off, and then I'll wash those here in a second. And then uh, one apple, so I add an apple, and then an orange. So pretty simple preparation. Um, I'm going to wash the greens really quick. Now they're probably pre-washed, but I like to just kind of just gently wash them, make sure there's no debris. Okay, and for the greens, I will uh, I will cut them into pieces because they're they're going to go into a blender, but Blenders don't really react well to, um, to just an entire carrot being thrown in there. A juicer might might work for that, but uh, we're going to uh, we're going to just cut these vegetables into manageable pieces. So pretty simple. Just grab your kitchen scissors, you know, that are specifically for food and clip those into manageable pieces. So that's that's the celery. And then the carrots really quick, we're gonna cut those. Again, these are just small, about one inch pieces that can be, uh, you know, consumed by the, by the mixer. Because if you, if you shove an entire carrot into your mixer, it's, it's just going to have a lot of trouble with it. I mean, you might have a mixture that can handle that, but, you know, I, I'm, not, uh, I'm not having that kind of equipment. So the apple, first thing we're going to do is take the core out, make sure we get the seeds out of it. So I have this simple device. You can use anything you want. You can cut it in squares and take the seeds out manually. With this device, I just push into it, and it just takes the core out. And then I'll just wash the inside, make sure I get any remaining uh, any remaining seeds out because they do have trace amounts of cyanide in apples, so we're not really interested in consuming those. And then the orange, we're going to be scraping away the outside of the orange, so I just cut it into squares. Okay, just just like so. And then just put that there. And we're just going to take the, um, you know, just take the outside of the orange off. Do that really quick here. piece. Okay, so now we're just going to go to the blender and I'm going to walk you through that. Alright, so we're here at the blender and as you can see we have the uh, fruits and vegetables that we've cut up and some other products. And this is the blender, straightforward blender. We're just here to 
uh, to kind of make this all into something that's drinkable. Uh, so the thing that I usually start out with is I'll, you know, after having done this so many times, I realize that, um, you know, you can mix these vegetables just the way they are and enjoy them. Um, but some people would argue that it's not quite sweet enough to our palates. And obviously I don't want to add pure sugar or any kind of sugar or sugar substitute. Uh, so what I do is I add just a little bit of lemon juice, just a little cap full of just standard lemon juice that you get from any supermarket. So really really small amount of lemon juice and then I will just for a little bit more flavor I'll add a little bit of Pedialyte so this is probably uh, an eighth of a cup of Pedialyte that I will add into my mix uh, which is approximately uh, approximately uh, 70 I'm sorry about 20 fluid ounces of product we're going to produce here so uh, the thing I want to note first is you put your cap on first and a lot of blenders have this little middle cap you can take off which kind of helps with any uh, you know any spillage or droplings that want to come out of your mixer uh, but I'm going to start mixing the fluids by themselves on low uh, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick in uh, a quarter of an apple at a time and uh, I will mix that with, uh, with a little piece of carrot or two. And that helps the blender to really grab onto that apple and mix it because you don't want products that are just stuck in there that are never going to get stuck in the blades. They're just going to be mixing and mixing. So I'm going to follow that pattern. And, uh, and then after that, I'm going to uh, throw in the rest of the celery and the carrots. Uh, and then uh, middle of the way I'll throw some of the orange and then the rest of the orange and that'll get us to a fully mix. So I'll do that apples first with a little bit of carrots and then uh, we'll come right back to it so I don't have to bore you with all of the noise. Okay so we're back after blending all the components and uh, we, we let this run after the final uh, fruit and vegetable is thrown in there for about a minute and a half. It gets it uh, as liquefied as possible. I mean, if you've got a Vitamix, you're going to get down to actual liquid. But in this case, I don't mind having the sensation of a little bit of pulpiness or, or fiberness in the, in the product. So um, this is where we're at right now. We've got all the carrots and celery, apples, uh, the orange, and again, I mentioned a little bit of Pedialyte and lemon juice. So now we're going to move to the back to the uh, to the central part of the kitchen so that we can put it in its container. All right, and so now we have uh, the container we're going to put the smoothie into. It's a clean cup. It's the one I use every day. Clean it after every use. And a new straw. This is a, uh, a thicker straw than usual. Uh, it's kind of the ones they use for Slurpees and stuff. So around my neighborhood you can get like a hundred pack for, for nothing. So uh, I tend to use these for a couple days. I'll wash them really good, but eventually, after a few days, you really should throw it out and get another straw. Uh, reusable straws are good if you like doing that. I do reuse mine a couple times, but eventually, uh, you know, it's time to change it out. So, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and pour this into the cup. And I'll give it some good taps because, you know, this is somewhat fibrous and I want to get it all or as much as I can into the cup. So there's always going to be a little bit left, but honestly that's, that's a, lot of, uh, a lot of product already, so uh, I don't need to get every drop. And uh, this does have a top as noted. And so I put the top on and there we go. And this actually goes, uh, I like to drink this semi-cold or cold, so I put this in the freezer. Uh, for about um, for about half an hour, 28, 29 minutes, and then I will go ahead and drink it. So now I'm going to wash the the mixer jug and put the product uh, into the freezer. So here we go. Okay, so here we have the final product, a uh, half hour in the freezer. It's still very fluid, uh, but it's nice and cold. It's kind of like a Slurpee, and uh, just kind of go through the straw there. When you get to the bottom, <clears throat> you get a little bit of more fibrousness, so a little bit thicker. Uh, you might have to grab a spoon or something just right at the very bottom. Uh, but my recommendation is uh, drink this very, very slowly. Drink it almost at the pace that you would consume vegetables normally if you wouldn't have run them through a blender. 
so this should take you, this is about 100 ounces, I guess, fluid ounces. Uh, sorry, about uh, 20 fluid ounces. So um, drink this uh, very slowly. T it should take you about 20 to 25 minutes to finish this. If you're gulping this down, um, my understanding is it's, it's not really that good for you to, to drink very, very fast. Uh, any kind of smoothies of pure vegetables or even juices of pure ve vegetables, you're supposed to consume them very slowly. And when you're done consuming something like this, generally you will find that you are completely full. You don't need to go for a snack or a cracker or anything like that. You should be full uh, enough to, um, you know, go do a workout or, you know, good for the next morning when you, when you start your breakfast. Uh, so anyway, that's just what I wanted to share. Um, I like having this about every other day. Um, if I get sick of it for a week or so, I'll um, switch over to solid foods, but um, I do enjoy this and it's uh, very healthy, I think, more healthier than eating, you know, other items like, you know, hamburgers and things like that. So, um, hope you enjoyed watching and have a great day.